we think. So a high level of leptin is signaling to the brain that you have a lot of fat, and a low level of leptin is signaling to your brain you don't have a lot of fat. But it acts throughout the entire spectrum. Okay, mm -hmm. so in other words, so you have you obviously it's a full it's a full spectrum because there's a concentration gradient. Now, what happens when it actually gets to the hypothalamus? And this is and and to be fair, I have to oversimplify it because it's just too complex and we don't know all of it. Mm -hmm. But when it gets to the brain, one of the things it does is it signals to a population of neurons called the POMC neurons, um, pro-opiomelanocortin neurons, at the arcuate nucleus of the hypothalamus, right at the very base. Um, and then there, when leptin signals to leptin receptor expressing POMC neurons, um, POMC is then trans sort of post-translationally modified, so chopped up, okay, by prohormone convertases. And then they signal, they in turn project to and signal to another part of the hypothalamus called the paraventricular nucleus, which is another part of the hypothalamus, where melanocortin receptors exist. And and uh, because this prohopio melanocortin make melanocortin peptides, which bind to melanocortin receptors. Now, this whole pathway, leptin, leptin receptor, prohopio melanocortin, melanocortin receptors, is called the leptin melanocortin pathway because it's the the, the, the namesake mm -hmm. or the central leptin melanocortin pathway within within the brain. And put simply, this pathway acts as the fat sensor within our body. So your your brain senses the amount of fat, and this is the key. This is the key pathway within our brain that senses how much fat we have. It's conserved. All mammals have this pathway, and most higher vertebrates who who have a demonstrable fat pad will have fat. Um, have a demonstrable amount of fat that you can see mm -hmm. and weigh will have this pathway. Mm -hmm. So leptin binds leptin receptors in the hypothalamus. It can get in there because the hypothalamus is a circumventricular organ and is, is essentially built to sample the bloodstream. One of the main targets within the hypothalamus are these POMC neurons. And this is part of the leptin melanocortin pathway. So basically the OB, OB mouse that you told us about at the beginning it had a mutation in the leptin gene and it was severely obese. It was, it was basically unable, that mouse was unable to sense its own body fat level. Correct. Yes. Yep. The, the, the signal between fat and brain broken. So the brain in effect thinks it has no fat, mm. uh, uh, broadly speaking, because it has, because it can't sense the leptin. It's just, oh shit, ah, there's no, there's no fat. I've got no fat, which is a bad thing Yes. Um, because we're designed to have some fat in us. Hmm. So is it, you know, so, so how does this hook into, um, other parts of, of this region of the hypothalamus is it fair so this is a fat sensor 